Hello, boxer fans. We're on to the BC World, guys. World, world, world. Here we go again, man. So, I'm your King Kang. Defeated Billy Deep from Australia. Before stopping him, Amir Kang actually dropped this guy twice and he actually displayed his, um, his tricks, you know, against a featherweight. Actually, I would say Billy Deep is a super featherweight at the best, meaning he's not at the level of Amir Khan. Amir Khan is a natural welterweight. So, finding a super, a, a super featherweight guy, not bad, because there are guys who have moved up and done very well, but Billy Deep is not a quality father, man. But I enjoyed it. You know, a lot of people believe that Billy Deep was going to actually do some damage to Amir Khan, but you have to understand, Amir Khan and I've lost to guys like Terence Crawford, Canada Alvarez, but I mean, Ken is a very quality fighter, man. So I mean, Ken won the WBC International World Tower title. Interesting. Billy D, as you can see right here, now has his loss, his losses on his record, 45 wins, 26 via knockouts. And uh, yeah, I must say, for a guy to have like, uh, I mean, for the five wins, I must say he's good. It's good, but against who? You know, against who? Um, I mean, half of the guys right here he's fought. I mean, I don't really know them. Okay, <laughs> I don't really know those guys. You know, maybe if I if I if I if I cross check. Then I might know some of them. Oh, Tevin Farmer. Okay, which is nice. Tevin Farmer is a very is a, is a, is, a, is, a, is a phenomenal fighter. Tevin Farmer is a guy that is very skillful, but he's not worth it. So, I mean, Ken actually is called a brutal knockout. You know, he impressed me for sure. I'm impressed by his. Uh, by his speed, I mean, Ken is a very, very um, good fighter with lots of speed. The thing is that whenever he come in against tough opponents, he tend to, you know, fade away. But he has beaten some really good fighters as well. If you look at his resume right here, you know I me, mean? you say he has a very, very solid resume. You know, beating guys like uh, Paul, Paul, Paul Malinaji, Marcos Madina, you know what I mean? Paul Makluski, Marcos Madina gave Flame what a hell. When they fought, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I mean, can manage to actually defeat a guy, and he did it in style. You know, so, I have to say that I mean, Ken will need to fight maybe Pacquiao, you know, the winner of Pacquiao, Keith Tamer. I would like to see that fight. I feel like people, people, people are not going to be excited about it because they think I mean, Ken is not uh, at the same level of, of like money, of money Pacquiao. Like, listen. I think that Manny Pacquiao, as legendary as he is, he's still ready to fight good fighters. He's still ready to compete in the elite level. And that's very interesting because I mean, Kenny is an elite fighter. A guy who has managed to come up from nothing to something. A guy who, who built himself up from nothing to something. Listen. I'm not a, an American fan, definitely because of what he says sometimes, uh, or, or how he behaves, but you cannot deny the guy talent, 
and the guy does have if not the one of the fastest and speed in boxing so the person I would like American to fight next will be Manny Pacquiao, the winner of Keita Manny Pacquiao but I feel like American really wants to fight Manny Pacquiao you know because he wants to prove himself and also get paid well people are saying why don't they just fight Ke Brook? I don't think the Ke Brook fight will happen because American and Ke Brook they do have some past bad history a lot of you guys don't know that something happened in the past that's why American something really happened that made American started hating on Ke Brook vice versa and they are not letting us know but we know something is wrong there because whenever we, we talk about a fight I mean Ken don't tend to really want it like that even though he stepped in the ring with killers before you know the guy he stepped in the ring with almost everyone he's fought everyone you know and he's beaten some good good fighters as well can he be grab Ken Brook anything can happen you know and it can happen because Kebrook, I feel like he's injury prone now, you know. So Kebrook is injury prone. So I feel like Kebrook has to sell the fights he will be getting, he will be having because of his eye injury. And, uh, I don't feel like Ken Brook could have retired, you know, after losing badly to Errol Spence. But he came back with a bang. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be interesting to see how he plays because whether the division is good, top killers are there now, you know. You go guys like Errol Spence, you know, Keith Tummer. Pacquiao, you know, Terence Crawford. I mean, Canelo is middle with guy, but he can still make worth of it. You never know. And he's looking to move forward to challenge Sergey Kovalev, but we heard the news that uh, Kovalev after the year will be having it on in Russia, so. It's gonna be interesting how he plays on man. I mean, I like the performance of Amir Ken. I was impressed, but it's just Billy Deep. <laughs> man, Billy Deep is not uh, an elite fighter, but you've got to give Amir Ken his props because people thought that this guy has nothing left. Everyone, when they talk about Amir Ken, they always say, talk about his chin. I can understand that, but the guy has managed to achieve a lot in boxing. Even with his whiskers cheering, man. Even as below, guys, like the video, share, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel, please. And go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center. Follow me on Twitter at Boxing Block, and as well on Facebook at Boxing Block Center, guys. Stay blessed, stay humble, stay hungry. Cheers.